Hi there, my name is Jerry Moore, and I'm professor of anthropology at Cal State University, Dominguez Hills. And my students are, and I are out here working at the Rancho Dominguez, which is not only a lovely place, but it's one of the most important places in the entire history of Southern California. And what we're trying to do out here is we're trying to recover aspects of the unwritten history of the Rancho that tell us so much about the history of the development of Los Angeles County in general. What my students and I are trying to understand is aspects of the daily life of this rancho when it was actually a working ranch. It's interesting to realize that in the 1880s, LA County's biggest exports were wheat and cowhides. And in 1920, their biggest exports were petroleum and movies. This rancho was a very important place in the southern South Bay area. And this area that we're working in right now was supposedly an outdoor kitchen and barbecue area so that during the harvest time or during Roundup, large numbers of ranch hands would be fed out here. So what we're doing here is we're trying to use a number of techniques to try to test whether or not this idea is actually correct. And so the students in the background are using a magnetometer to try to find features in the ground that might be things like cooking pits or fire pits or areas where uh, animal bones or garbage pits would have been discarded. Today we're focusing on collecting 10 samples and then we will go ahead and take those samples to analyze them. What they're doing is they're trying to learn how to find stuff with different pieces of scientific equipment. They're working through trying to find out how to make that equipment work and how to discover things about the past using that equipment. Today we are at the Rancho Dominguez testing out new equipment. It's called a ground penetrating radar and basically what it does is sends electromagnetic signals down to the surface and whatever is under there uh, reflects and the antenna picks it up. And we are looking for anomalies in the ground for evidence of a possible uh, action or encampment that took place here at the Rancho Dominguez during the Mexican-American War. And we've been doing plots all over the rancho to see evidence of military encampment, uh, artifacts, and uh, we've been using a combination of folk history and analyzing GPR results. But at another level, what they're doing is they're discovering how to discover. They're finding out how to use a little pilot project and catch the errors that they may have made in the first steps of a process, how to check their results, how to work as a group, and how to not only determine that they've actually discovered something, but how to go about asking new questions so that discovery is a process. We found out that the oil derrick itself being of a metal property, most likely steel, was sending off a magnetic field. And when we were processing the data, you can actually see this distortion effect affect the entire scan area. This made us have to rework our um, methodology so we couldn't scan areas with metal objects like the oil derrick nearby. That's one of the things that people are learning in the, in the, in the course of a class like this, is not just how to do this, but how to have that thrill of discovery about how to make uh, learning, not just something that you go and passively do in a classroom, but something that actively becomes part of your life and becomes of the way the person you are and the way in which you see the world. That's a tremendously powerful insight for people to get. And in part, I think they get that here. I feel very fortunate to have been a part of this course this semester. Not only did I lead a team in archeological research, but I also gained a skill that I will benefit from in the future. The skills that I learned from Dr. Moore through this course will definitely help me on my journey in grad school and in my career as an archeologist. It went great, you know, it's a great day. And you can see, you know, I, I, you need to have a PhD to, to wrap string around a nail. But uh, no, it was a great day. And uh, I think people learned a lot and they're getting faster at what they're doing. And uh, now will be the, the next level in uh, this process where we're gonna go back 
We're gonna look at data sets, make sure we got everything right, and see if we can figure out something else uh, to do in, in the next step of this research.